Santa Monica Update, your source for local news in Santa Monica. A local Santa Monica program is helping girls going into middle school to become empowered citizens. How? By having the girls do tasks traditionally considered for males only. Reporter Tamara Henry rolls up her sleeves and asks Rosie's girls what they mean when they say, we can do it. Rosie's Girls, an award-winning city summer camp program helping young women entering middle school combat the pitfalls of peer pressure and low self-esteem, is celebrating its 10-year anniversary. The leadership and mentoring program, which has prepared 600 young women to be active city agents and movers and shakers, was inspired by the women's empowerment movement during the 40s. Rosie the Riveter was the World War II icon, and you'll often see her doing this with her handkerchief on her head and she symbolized the women who came into the workforce during World War II and built ships and airplanes and worked really in all of the industrial activities to support the war effort and they needed them and so Rosie the Riveter was sort of like a propaganda thing you can do it we can do it come on in and of course when the war was over then they tried to get the women to go back in the kitchens and the women didn't want to do it because they liked working and they liked making money and they liked being strong so I think I think it changed women forever in the United States. As a Rosie's girl, I built a lot of self-confidence and, you know, I just knew that I could do whatever a boy can do. Older girls who have graduated from the program come back each summer and serve in an apprentice capacity to help the younger girls coming up with trades exploration. The girls have loads of fun learning all about cars in the fleet management division to ensure that city vehicles are dependable, safe, cost effective, and energy efficient. How many 12 year old girls does it take to change a tire? Five. Five. <laughs> I think some of the most exciting things are that it really forms a relationship between the people who make the city run and the community who often don't understand how those inner workings really happen. And here are these young girls that are going behind the scenes and meeting the electricians and the carpenters and plumbers and street pavers. And then they're out on the streets with their parents and they say, oh, that's Don fixing the uh, signal lights or oh, that's Ernie paving the streets. I know how to do that. So there's a lot of goodwill and an ambassadorship that goes on between the people that actually make the city run and the girls and their families and their parents. One by one, each Rosie's girl gets her hands dirty as she learns how to operate the city's solid waste trash collector truck behind the scenes that make for a unique hands-on camp experience. One girl's trash is another girl's treasure and Rosie's girls know they need a special place to keep all those things. What's going to be in your hope chest? I'm going to keep the memories that I've had at Rosie's Girls because it's a keepsake about the experience of the camp. Rosie's Girls built hope chests with hammers and saws in carpentry shop. The blacksmith and the artist forging creative expression and art out of wood and copper. This functional art will be debuted on Friday afternoon, August 20th at the program's culmination event at Bergamot Station. They do plumbing. Um, firefighting, they learn self-defense. Rosie's Girls is doing its part to contribute to an empowered community by building strong girls. Reporting for Santa Monica Update, I'm Tamara Henry. To learn more about Rosie's Girls and next spring's conference with keynote speakers, go to rosiesgirls.smgov.net. Well, that's it for this edition of Santa Monica Update. I'm Gail Choice, and for all of us at City TV, Thanks for watching.